Sabatini's Bakery. A bakery? It's a special flat-packed bakery. We're going to put it together over the river from the water mill, so it's close to all that lovely flour. Cool! Oh, that's so Ooh, really cool. And there's a surprise waiting for you when we get there, Scoop. A surprise? Well, what are we waiting for? Can we build it? Yes, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Where's my surprise, Bob? Hi, Big Banana! Whoa! <laughs> Speedy Benny! Oh, hello, Benny! Hello, Benny! Great All right. Benny. But aren't you helping Bob's dad in Bobsville? Dad and I thought it would be a great idea if Benny came to Sunflower Valley to learn a thing or two from you, Scoop. You need a digger to teach a digger? Yes! Who better to teach Benny than the biggest and best digger I know? I'm Benny teacher. I'm Benny teacher. Can I do it, Bob? Of course you can, Scoop. I bet you can teach me anything, Big Banana. <laughs> OK, let's get this lot unloaded. Um, OK, Benny. First, we'll dig the foundations there, where Bob has marked them out. Wow, now that's clever. I couldn't have explained it better myself, Scoop. Explained what, Bob? Uh, hi, Spud. I'm teaching Benny how to make the foundations for Mr. Sabatini's bakery. A bakery? That means lovely, scrummy bread. Oh, I love bread, I do. Can I help, Bob? Thanks, Spud. But I think we've got all the help we need today. Oh! Right, team. I'm off to Bobsville with Lofty and Travis to pick up a special oven for the bakery. A special oven? Yes. It's heated by burning special briquettes made from pressed sunflower stalks. We'll make them with this. How does it work, Bob? Well, you put the stalks in here, then you squash them together by pushing down this handle. The briquettes burn with very little smoke, which means they help keep the air clean. On real banana peel. And we have loads of sunflowers in the valley. That's right, Dizzy. What do we do, team? Reduce, reuse, recycle. recycle. Bye. Oh, Scoop, please let me help. Please, I'll do anything. Um, well, you could make the briquettes, Spud. Yes, yes, I could. And, and if I make lots and lots, Mr. Sabatini might give me some yummy bread to thank me. Mm. I'm Spud, the briquette maker. OK, Benny, keep your digging level and always stay inside the area marked by Bob. OK, Big Banana. Right, Benny, stand back. Here comes Dizzy with the concrete. What's next, then? Next? Um, we wait for it to dry. But can't you show me how to do the next bit, Scoop? Next bit? Um... Sorry, Benny, but that's Bob's job. But Scoop can do anything, can't you, Scoop? Yes. Well, um, maybe we could put up the framework. You've never done that without Bob before. But uh, I've seen Bob put up lots of buildings. How's Benny going to learn if I don't show him? Can Scoop, build it! Yes, he can! Yeah, well, I think so. 
Hello, Spud. You look busy. I'm reducing, reusing and recycling, Farmer Fickles. Ta-da! Mr. Sabatini is going to use these briquettes to heat his bread oven at his new bakery. Well done, Spud. Oh, I always like to do my bit. Especially when there's food involved, eh, Spud? Oh, I don't know what you mean, Farmer Fickles. Oh. <laughs> Spud. <laughs> oh, you really know your stuff, Big Banana. What's next? The roof? Can we put the roof on? Can we? Can we? Well, um, I, I suppose we could. Scoop! I think we should wait for Bob! Wow! I can't wait to see Bob's face when he sees what we've done. <laughs> um, is it supposed to do that, Scoop? Um, not really, no. Oh, oh no! Oh, I knew we should have waited for Bob. Oh, there is one really important thing I forgot to teach you, Benny. How to use the talkie-talkie to shout for help. Help! Help! But that sounds like Scoop. Scoop, what's up? I'm stuck under the bakery roof. What? Hang on, we're on our way. Oh, thanks, Lofty. I'm sorry, Bob. I thought I could teach Benny everything. All I taught him was how to make big mistakes. Oh, Scoop. Not knowing everything isn't something to be ashamed of. We all need help sometimes. But I was supposed to teach Benny. Well, I think you've taught yourself a good lesson today. Yes. Yes, I suppose I have. I still think you're a great teacher, Big Banana. Really? Thanks, Benny. And I promise to learn from Scoop's mistakes too, Bob. <laughs> OK, team. We've got a bakery to build. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, yeah, I think so. and Mrs. Sabatini. What do you think? It's a magnificent. Yes, better than we ever imagined. The bakery roof has solar panels and a half roof garden. Perfect for growing my special herb ingredients. Oh, thank you everybody. And a special thanks to Scoop, Benny and Dizzy. Thanks to their foundations, this bakery will stand for years. Right. Let's get the oven hot. Time to get baking. Oh, no. The briquettes. We forgot to make them. Don't worry, Bob. Here they come. Akui, get your spot briquettes and uh, your spotettes here. <laughs> Who got spot to make them? What would I do without you, Scoop? The first Sunflower Valley Loaf. And I make it look just like you, Scoop. Wow. I'm a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I have a nibble, Mr. Sabatini? Oh, I'm sorry, Spud. This one's not for you. What? But, but I... But uh, this one is... Oh, thank you. I really am. I taste the old spuddy.
light bulb. Thanks, Dizzy. Three new recycling bins built and ready to be used. What's going to be recycled in the bins, Bob? Oh, yes. There's already a bin for glass and metal and paper and wood. Oh, you can recycle much more than that, Dizzy. Really? Like what, Bob? Hi, Bob. Wendy's given me some stuff for recycling. Oh, thanks, Muck. Good timing. Oh. Right, team. I'll show you what else can be recycled. Oh. Now, let's see what we've got. Ah, this computer is too old to be fixed. We can recycle it. Oh. oh. I'll put it in here. This can be the electric machine recycling bin. What else, Bob? Well, material can be recycled. Like this old shirt. There we go. Hmm. This tea towel is too old for drying dishes, but it's just the thing for cleaning my tools. That's what recycling is all about, isn't it, Bob? Reusing things. That's right. Remember the three R's, everyone. Uh, reduce, reuse, reuse, recycle, and rock and roll. <laughs> I did it again. That's five, isn't it? Holy! Bob, cats be recycled. Cats? What do you mean, Dizzy? <laughs> oh, pilchard! We can't recycle you! the job done. But remember, we're just trying this attachment out. Is it a special new one, Bob? That's right, Scoop. Oh, what does it look like? Unreal. Look at that. It's huge. It might be for a bigger machine than you, Benny. Oh, no way. Let me try it on. Well, OK, but be careful. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm going to dig some big holes with this. Look impressive, but I'm still worried it's too big for you. Please let me try it out, Bob. Hello, Bob the Builder. Bob, Sandy Beach here. Can you come up to the cave house? I've got something amazing to show you. Uh, I need to go and see Sandy. Oh, but what about my new attachment? Don't worry, we can try it out together when I get back. Won't be long. Bye. I'm gonna go and find out how this works. Shouldn't you wait until Bob gets back? No, if I find out what it's for, then I can show Bob, can't I? But, Benny, see you later! Oh, no, <laughs> that's not right. Stand back, Mr. Beasley! Bashing, crashing, Benny's here to help! Well, knock me down with a feather! Look at the size of that! It's my new attachment. I'm going to help with your building job. Me building job? Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I can bash and crash. <laughs> oh, no thanks, Benny. I, uh, I don't really need any bashing or crashing. Oh, what about smashing? No, just a bit of hammering, really. It's one of them do-it-yourself kits. A deck chair to listen to me radio in. Oh. So, I'm no use. Don't worry. Someone will need your great big uh, what's name. Yeah, probably. See you later. 
Are you sure that's right, Bernard? Yes, yes, Barbara, I know what I am doing. Look out! Crashing, crashing! Benny's here! Oh, oh my goodness! Benny, what on earth is that? It's my new attachment to help with your building job. I'm going to smash and bash! Yeah, but it's only a cold frame! To keep Barbara's petunias warm in the winter. We don't need a tool that size. Oh, so, no crashing at all? It's nice of you to offer, Benny, but a cold frame's just wood and glass. Your huge attachment would smash it to pieces. Yeah, I suppose. I'll look for someone else to help. I think that's probably best. Look what I found. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, Sandy! Is it a fossil? Yes, a trilobite. A sea creature that lived millions of years ago. You mean Sunflower Valley used to be underwater? Probably, Scoop. There could be other small fossils nearby, too. Well, I never. Wouldn't it look wonderful in the visitor center? Good idea! How do we get it down into the valley? Well, if I'm careful, it should just pop out. Wow! Oh, fantastic! You just need to be very, very gentle. That's it, Dizzy! <laughs> hey! Here I come! Crashing, crashing, Betty! Oh. So, where do you want me to start? Start what? Smashing and bashing, of course! Oh! Well, I'm not sure we need any smashing. Or oh, bashing. What about crashing? No, uh, we've done some digging and pouring. And we'll be doing some smoothing, but that's it, really. Oh, um, how about I smash the concrete up once it's dry? Dizzy can just make some more. Well, that's just silly, Benny. Sorry, Dizzy. Oh, it's just that no one needs my help. Oh, Benny. It's just that Sunflower Valley is more about reducing, reusing, and recycling. Yeah! Not smashing things up. Oh, I wish I'd never got this silly attachment. I'm going to go and find Bob and get it taken off. I wonder which path Sandy lives up. Hey! Maybe I don't have to take a path. Check this out, Mr. Goat. I'm gonna smash a tunnel right through the mountain. Now I can bash and crash. Oh, hey! What's happening? Oh, no. It must be because I'm little. I can't smash like a big machine. Oh, I must be able to work it properly. Stand back, rabbits. Come on, attachment. Smash. Smash. Please. Crash. Oh, what, Mr. Goat? Oh, yeah. I suppose I am making a pretty pattern. What's that? Oh no! Stupid attachment! It's pretty rare to find a fossil in such good condition. Wow! You can almost imagine it scurrying about, can't you? <laughs> yes. I'm glad you two could come and see it so quickly. Oh, that reminds me. I was helping Benny with that big attachment. I'll tell him we won't be long. Scoop to Benny! Come in, Benny! Oh, Scoop, I'm stuck on the mountain track. Stuck? Hang on, Benny. We're on our way. Benny! Oh, 
Bob. Oh, what happened? I was just trying to find a job, so I thought I'd try my attachment on this rock. But it all came down on top of you. Yeah. This is just shale, Benny. Don't worry. You didn't move any big rocks. <sighs> because I couldn't. You were right, Bob. This attachment is too big for me. I couldn't bash or smash it at all. Wait a minute. Look, here. Can you see? Oh, it's just a picture I chipped away of myself. No, that's not it. Look! Oh, wow! Benny, look what you found! Whoa, it's huge! What is it? It's a plesiosaur! A plesio what? A dinosaur that lived in the sea. And we'd never have found it if you hadn't chipped away so gently, Benny. You mean if... I had bashed and crashed. You'd have smashed it to pieces. But you were so gentle, you just took off the top layer. You know, Benny, with that attachment, you'll be the perfect machine to help me get this fossil out of the rock face. Whoa! <laughs> you mean I can use it? And I've got a job to help with. That's right, Benny. And you know what else? Only you could have used the attachment in that way. You're Benny the Dinosaur Digger. Benny the Dinosaur Digger. Unreal banana peel. The place really is a mess, isn't it, Bob? We'll soon have it cleared, though, Wendy. My front bucket is full, Bob. Can you take it to the recycling centre? No prob, Bob. Is that so our rubbish can be used again, Bob? That's right, Rolly. Remember the three R's? Reduce, reuse, recycle. And rock and roll! <laughs> Rolly, that's five R's. Bob, can I take my rubbish to the recycling centre, too? Of course you can, Mug. Then come back for more. There's plenty of rubbish to move. OK, Bob. Oh, all done, Bob. Uh, I... Oh, Bob, look. A family of hedgehogs. They can't get across the road. Scoop, Muck, Lofty, stop everything. What is it, Bob? It's those hedgehogs. They're really frightened by all the noise we're making. Everyone keep quiet, then they'll be able to cross. Great! They did it, Bob! Hmm, that's right, Muck. But I think the hedgehogs need a way to cross safely whenever they want. out for the hedgehogs. We really fixed it for them today, didn't we, Bob? Yes, Scoop. We really did. the job done.
So, what are we doing today, Bob? We're reusing these logs to build a safety fence on the riverbank by Mr. Sabatini's windmill. A safety fence? What for? To stop people from accidentally falling into the river. Um, what are you wearing, Wendy? It's a life belt, Lofty. You throw it to people if they fall into water. It helps them stay afloat until you can pull them out. And we're going to hang it next to the safety fence. I'm off to the sunflower oil factory. I promised Marjorie I'd help out with a big delivery. Bye, Wendy. Oh. Hi, Marjorie. What are you doing carrying crates? Oh, hello, Wendy. Farmer Pickles, Sumsy and Travis are supposed to make the Bobsville delivery. But no one's here yet. Ah, here they are. Oh, sorry I'm late. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Oh, I slept like a baby, I did. Yes, a very noisy baby, Spud. Well, if we're going to make this delivery, we'd better get moving. <sighs> oh, poor Farmer Pickles. He does look tired. See, Spud is just too noisy. We're going to have to make some changes, Wendy. Oh, but how do I tell him he's going to have to move? Farmer Pickles wants me to leave Scarecrow Cottage, Scruffy. Oh, it's not fair. Just because I make a little noise sometimes. <laughs> well, we'll soon see about that. <laughs> Quietest paws ever. I wish my feet could be as quiet as theirs. Ooh, must have fallen off this funny tree. Oh, that's nice and soft. Aha! Spuddy's got an idea. wasn't your fault. Sorry, Bob. I, I didn't mean that to happen. I know. What are you creeping about for anyway, Spud? I am being silent, Spud. Quietest scarecrow in Sunflower Valley. You are? Farmer Pickles said I'm too noisy, so I'm going to be quiet from now on. That's why I made these super quiet shoes. Look. <laughs> Very, um... Nice, Spud. Hang on. That looks like cork. Where did you find it, Spud? It fell off a funny tree on the track by Scarecrow Cottage. A funny tree? Now this is interesting. Well, I'm off to show Farmer Pickles how quiet Spud can be. Scoop, Lofty, you stay here and finish the fence. Come on, Muck. We've got some investigating to do. Bud's funny trees are cork trees. What's so special about them, Bob? Well, Muck, this bark is the cork. It's useful for lots of things. How does it work? Well, it's strong and very light. It can even float on water. And that's what I want to use it for, to make another life belt. That's clever. Hmm, but how do I get the cork off the tree without hurting it? <sighs> oh, hi, Bob. <laughs> How do you harvest cork from a cork tree? Sorry, Bob. I haven't a clue. I have. I know all about harvesting. Hello, Bob. It's a bit like shearing the wool from a sheep. You shave it off, and in a few months, the cork grows back. <laughs> Good as new. My pleasure, Bob. Bye.
Okay, Farmer Pickles, the oil is bottled and ready to deliver. Oh, what? Phew, just made it. We've used up the last of the bottle caps. Well done, Marjorie. We'll take it nice and easy, won't we, Travis? You can rely on us, Marjorie. Sorry you didn't hear me, Farmer Pickles. That's because I'm Silent Spud. Well, Silent Spud just caused an accident. Oh, no. Oh, what's Marjorie going to say? She hasn't got any more caps to make up any more bottles. Oh, I'm sorry, Farmer Pickles. You, you won't need to ask me to leave Scarecrow Cottage. I'll save you the bother. What are you talking about, Spud? I heard you in the factory. You said I was too noisy. You said you were going to make changes. <laughs> Goodbye, Farmer Pickles. <laughs> The changes I was going to make were asking you to sleep in the drying barn tonight. So, you don't want me to leave? Of course not. Oh, thank you, Farmer Pickles. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, Spud. We better tell Marjorie the bad news. Hi, Wendy. What? And you've run out of bottle caps? Hang on. I might have just the thing. I'll be right over. There. One crate of bottles, corked and ready to deliver. Thanks, Bob. What a great idea to make new bottle tops out of cork. Don't thank me. Thanks, Spud. He found the cork trees. Well, I am always here to help. Well done, team. It looks great. And makes the riverbank safer, Bob. But thanks to everyone. Oh, Mille grazie, Bob. Now Carlo and Cassia can play all day. And I don't worry. Farmer Pickles, are you sure I don't have to sleep in the drying barn tonight? Yes, Spud. Thanks to your cork trees. Useful stuff, this cork. One in there. One in there. Oh, silence. Hi, Farmer Pickles! Farmer Pickles! Well, how rude. the perfect place to put my hammock. Um, these trees are too close together. If I tie my hammock to these, it'll touch the ground. Now, let's see. Mm, aha! Just right! My hammock will fit perfectly between these two trees. And they'll be strong enough to take my weight. And it'll be in the sunshine for most of the day. Perfect! There, now that's that one. And that's that one. I'm really looking forward to some rest and relaxation. Bob! Bob! Sorry to bother you, Bob. Oh, that's all right, Scoop. Could you check on a trench we've just dug? <sighs> of course, Scoop. Oh! What have we got here, then? Thanks, Bob. That's OK, Scoop. Uh-oh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Bob! Oh, Bob! Oh, dear. I'm here, Wendy! Ah, 
There you are. Sorry to disturb you, Bob, but uh, could you just check this list of supplies? Of course, Wendy. Oh, let's see. Twelve of those and... Uh, yes, yes, yes. That's fine, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Bob. Uh, I'll see you later. Oh, at last. <sighs> what? <sighs> oh, 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 uh, uh, hi, Bob. Bob? I was just looking for somewhere to relax. <laughs> that makes two of us, Spud. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. They get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. <laughs> Job today, Scoop. I don't know. Bob's too busy to tell me. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Bob the Builder. I'm on my way. Bye. Uh, Bob, what's our job today? Uh, yes, Scoop. It's a. Oh, hello, Bob the Builder. I'll be right there. Sorry. Um, I'll tell you later. To the dome, please, Scrambler. Scram to the dome. Yeah. <sighs> See what I mean? Come on. You're just in time. Right, let's get started. Bob, Wendy! Oh, Bob, we can't wait. Oh, tell us what our job is, please. Sorry, team. I'm in a bit of a rush, aren't I? I'm turning the whole dome into a visitor center. A visitor center? What's that? When people come to visit Sunflower Valley, the visitor center will tell them all about what goes on here. There'll be a display about Farmer Pickle's farm, a display about Mr. Sabatini's mill, displays about everything. I'm going to build them. And it's all opening tomorrow. Uh, Bob, these displays. Are you building them inside the dome? That's right, Rolly. But only Dizzy can fit in the dome. How are we going to help? Don't worry, team. I've got a special job for you. Bob the Builder to Sandy Beach. Sandy to Bob. I've got the Plesiosaurus fossil already. Brilliant. It's going to be a special display. I'll hang it up right in the middle of the dome. Great idea, Bob. I'll come up with the machines and fetch it as soon as I can. Over and out. Rock and roll! We're going to fetch a fossil! We'll go all the way up the mountain and bring it down again. <laughs> we'll have to be careful. Fossils are very fragile. And the road down the mountain's very windy and bumpy. And there's lots of rocks in the way. And Don't worry, Bob. Can we fetch it? Yes, we can! Yeah, I think so. Hang on. I've got to build the other displays first, remember? You wait out here. I won't be long. Fetching a dinosaur fossil. Wicked! Hi, everyone. Got your plans ready? Here's mine, Bob. All about the animals on my farm. Mine's about all the things you can make out of sunflowers. And the my display is all about the wonderful bread we bake from the flour we mill. That's great. Mr. Beasley's coming later, so that just leaves you, Mr. Bentley. I did my plan on computer, Bob. It's all about how I built my own house in the side of a hill. Oh, I think it's my turn to do something now. <laughs> Forgotten. Oh, go and remind him, Scoop. Um, you go, Roly. Um, you go, Muck. Lofty, you go. But, um, oh, I suppose so. Oh, silly me. I'm too big, aren't I? We all are. Well, 
most of us. Oh, all right then. There you go, Mr. Sabatini. Thank you, Bob. But you must have painted. It must look like the most delicious loaf of bread ever. Right. Uh, yes, Mr. Sabatini. Bob, Bob. Hang on, Dizzy. Bob, can you help me hang this bottle of sunflower oil up, please? No problem, Marjorie. Oh, I've got so many things to put in my display. Ah, Bob. I. Uh, oh, I wonder if you could lend me a hand with my. Uh, with my model. I just looked easy on the computer. <laughs> Scruffy, keep all together. How's the sheet pen coming on, Bob? Um, I'll try and start it as soon as I can, Farmer Pickles. You won't forget the other enclosures, will you, Bob? No, no, don't, don't worry. Now, how can I help, Dizzy? Um, we were just wondering uh, if we might be going to fetch the fossil soon. Uh, well, the thing is, Dizzy. Ah, oh, Bob, you will be able to build my display, won't you? Uh, uh. All about me tropical fruit business. Okay, uh, let's see your plan then. Yo, I didn't write anything down. It's all in me head. I want a, a great big pineapple sign over there, please, and a couple of cut out mangoes over here. Everyone else has gone home. It's supper time. Oh, thanks, Wendy, but I haven't got time. I've got to finish this and go and fetch the fossil. Can't you do that in the morning? I promised the machines we'd do it today. They've been waiting outside for ages. Ah, all done. Oh, no. They've given up and gone home. Scrambler, wake up. <laughs> What's up, Bob? To the yard, Scrambler! Quick! Scoop! Mark? Dizzy? I've let my team down, Scrambler. I didn't know you were looking for them. Oh. Chill out, Bob. Wait till you see this, yeah? Where are we going? The bottom of the mountain! In the dark. Dizzy wore my old mining lantern and led the way. Yeah, Rolly flattened out the path so it was nice and smooth for driving on. Sandy helped us load the fossil really carefully, didn't he, Mark? It's very fragile, you know. Hey, Lofty, move those boulders. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bob, you've got one great team here. You're right, Sandy. I really have. I just wish I'd let you get on with the job in the first place. <laughs> worry, Bob. You can lead us the rest of the way. Follow Bob back to the dome, everyone! Oh, no, you don't. You've done a brilliant job on your own. I think you should finish it off on your own. I'll see you back at the dome. And then maybe we'll have time to get some sleep before the big day tomorrow. See you there, Bob! special, Bob. Just like you said. No problem, Sandy. Yay! Well done, Bob. Our first visitors should be arriving any minute now. I think they'll find out what Sunflower Valley's all about, don't you? <laughs> oh, look at everything you've built. I couldn't have done it without my machines, Marjorie. We all worked as a team. Oh, they're coming, they're coming! Oh, stand by your stalls, everyone! Oh, 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 oh. Well 
Welcome to Sunflower Valley Visitor Center. This is what Sunflower Valley is all about. <laughs> After a hard week's work. What time is it, Bob? Oh, I've forgotten my watch. Hmm, now let's see. I think it's about midday. How do you know that? I used the sun to tell me, Lofty. I didn't know the sun could tell you the time. Mr. Sun, what's the time? <laughs> the sun can't talk, Dizzy. I can tell it's the middle of the day because it's right above me and my shadow is very short. Look, my shadow's short too. Everyone says dizzy. And in the morning, when the sun is low in the sky, it makes your shadow long. How does that work then, Bob? Imagine this apple is the earth where we live, and this orange is the sun. The sun is like a great big light. It's really bright. You should never look straight at the sun, because it can hurt your eyes. Oh, uh, um, OK. The earth spins around each day like this. When we're on the part of the planet that's facing away from the sun, it's night. And when we're facing towards the sun, it's day. So, if you stood in the same place all day long, the Earth would be turning and you would see your shadow move around you. Rock and roll! We could build a sundial. It's what they used in the old days to tell the time with shadows. The sun is behind me, so I'm facing north. This is where 12 noon goes. We'll get my watch and mark off where the shadow falls every hour. Now, who can tell me the time? Oh, oh, uh, me, me, me. I think it's six o'clock, Bob. That's right, Dizzy. Oh. But one thing that doesn't need a sundial is my tummy. It knows exactly when it's time for dinner. the job done. Wake up, team! Oh, 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 what was that? Dunno. Sounds like something's in the bushes. Something very big. Hello? It away. Hi, everyone. Good eye. Buzz. Percy. Oh, ho, ho. it's great to see you. <laughs> you too, mate. Everyone, this is my cousin, Buzz. I've come to help with the sheep shearing. Buzz, this is Travis, Sumsy, Scruffy, and Spud. Hello. Oh, hello, Buzz. 
Ben. <laughs> Pleased to meet you all. Great place you got here, Percy. Bob built it for me. You'll meet him later. Right. Here's where we'll build the sheep shearing station team. How does the station work, Bob? I'll show you. Dizzy, will you pretend to be a sheep? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the sheep will start in a pen here, then go through a gate into the shearing area to get shorn. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles, Bob. And then they go through to the outside pen. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's Spike. Why, Spike? Oh, whoa. You've scared it again. Hey, what's up, Sport? Something crashed through the bushes. Last time I saw something crash through the bushes, it was a great big crocodile looking for dinner. Oh, wicked! What's the crocodile like? Well, it's a bit like a dinosaur. He's got a huge scaly body, big snapping teeth, and a massive strong tail. Oh, that is a beast. Yeah, we named him the Beast of the Billabong. Our billabong's a pool of water, where I come from. Oh, what happened? He leapt straight at me. Did you scram? Ha, no way, mate. I wrestled that croc and threw him back in the water. You. After that, the beast of the billabong never bothered me again. Maybe there's a crocodile in our bushes. Oh, Travis, there aren't any crocodiles around here. But there are plenty of sheep. So can you take Scruffy and round some up? Right, yo. Come on, Baz. It's time to meet Bob and the team. Ah, Bonza! Jump on! Hmm. I didn't see a crocodile, but I did see something very strange. Like what? Like the Beast of Sunflower Valley. Uh, you got a terrific team, Bob. Haven't I just? Baz, are you the fastest sheep shearer in the West? <laughs> I don't know, mate, but I can shear a sheep in a minute. Why do you shear them? If you don't shear them, the wool keeps growing. Then they can't see and get all hot and bothered. So, what does the beast of Sunflower Valley look like? Two eyes and long hair. I expect it's as big as an elephant with lots of legs. I bet it's got six. Or eight. An eight-legged beast. Oh, sounds great. Looks, bud. Footprints. Is in those trees. Yeah, but let's wait till it comes out. We don't want to scare it away again. What are you two doing? Waiting for the beast. Oh, you 